three things you need in order to rest in your femininity. But first, like and subscribe to this channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. What are the three things that you need in order to rest in your femininity? Number one, you need a made up mind. You need a mind that says, I am done being masculine. I am done being the man of my dreams. I am done running myself down trying to do what men do. I am ready to let a man do it. I am ready to lean into my femininity, connect to my creativity, and move the way I'm supposed to as a woman. When you have a made up mind, you understand that being a woman is absolutely amazing. You don't desire to be anything else. You let go of the whole boss, babe, bad B type of mentality. You no longer call yourself a stallion or a gorilla or any of that kind of thing. You now look at yourself as a dainty, beautiful butterfly floating through the world, trying to figure out what she wants to do with her life. You no longer allow people to dictate to you how to be as a woman. You now think about how you want to be as a woman. So number one, you have a made up mind. Number two, you get guidance from God. When you are truly wanting to lean into your femininity, you have to go to the source most importantly, and the source is God. God designed us to be women. Our nature, our femininity, our core essence, how we live and how we move, it all was designed by the Lord. So it would behoove of us to consult him on how to conduct ourselves as women. When you have spirituality, when you have a relationship with God, you no longer allow the culture or society to shape your way of seeing womanhood. You now understand that being a bad bee and twerking all over the place is not really what you want for your life. Not saying you can't have fun and have a good time and dance around with your family, but I'm just saying the way you carry yourself as a woman is no longer at the standard of what you see around you. You might like the style of the housewives and all these different people, but you no longer desire to carry yourself that way. You want to go deeper. And in order to really dive deeper into your womanhood and to really be who you was designed to be, you have to have a relationship with the Lord. There is no way around it. If you look at society and culture to shape your way of seeing womanhood, you're in trouble. So number two, get you a relationship with God, which should have been number one. But you know, on the internet, if you say God first, nobody's going to hit that like button. Number three way of seeing how to lean into your femininity and what you have to do, get your finances in order. Do you need money to be feminine? No, you do not. Do you need money or should you have money so that you're not stressed? Yes. A lot of the issues that women have come down to being stressed. And what is one of the number one things, if not the number one thing other than men that women stress about? Money. So when you don't have any money, you will always be in your masculine energy. You will always be in that mode of trying to chase scene, trying to figure out how this is going to be done, how that's going to be done. How am I going to do this? Um, I can't afford to do this or that. When you lean into your femininity, you are able to actually see what your gifts, talents, and skills are and work on those things opposed to just doing whatever you need to do in the moment to make things happen. When a woman is truly in her feminine essence, she is able to lean into her creativity to make money for herself. A lot of women don't understand that you have gifts and skills and talents on the inside of you. Look, your very life can be a testimony to help somebody else. And as you bless them, that could be blessing you in return. But you won't know that if you don't slow down long enough to really see that you have that gift, that talent, that skill. So being a feminine woman, yes, while be a femininity has nothing to do with your finances or resources, you know, that's the nature of who you are. You can't really rest in that if you are stressed out, especially if you are stressed out about money. So the number three thing you need to do is look at your gifts, look at your skills and look at your talents and see what you can do to create resources, to create money for yourself. Because when you have that, that's going to boost your confidence and that's going to give you time freedom, which will allow you to rest. 
trust me, I understand that this is not easy, especially when you have a family. But what, what, I, what I will say, when you have children, what I will say is that with the invention of the internet and all of these different e-commerce platforms like Etsy, Amazon, Shopify, you know, WordPress, you can do blogging, you can do crafts, you can make clothes, you can, there's so many things you can do. And many people tell you to look at your passions. I say do what you are good at so that you can pay for your passion later. If you're trying to make money quickly right now, you don't really want to go out and do your passion projects because things that you are often passionate about, other people unfortunately could care less about. You want to offer people something that are valuable, that's valuable, so that way that'll bring income in for you so that you can focus on those things that are near and dear to you. So, three ways in order to lean into your femininity, have a made up mind, decide, I no longer want to operate in my masculine. I don't have masculine energy. I should not be operating in that. Number two, get a relationship with the Lord. You should know Jesus. You should have that relationship because God designed us as women at our core essence to be a certain way. And believe it or not, it is contrary to a lot of what you see today. We were not designed to go that hard. We were not designed to be overworked, overstressed. We were not designed for any of that. Not saying that our bodies can't withstand a lot and that we can endure some stuff. But when you are leaning into your femininity, you now realize that you don't have to endure everything, that you can work smarter, not harder. There are certain things that you can avoid altogether if you will take time to just rest. And then number three, get you some money. Get creative, tap into your femininity, tap into your talents and your skills and ability to create the resources you need so that you're not stressed about money. When you are constantly in a state of stress, when you have anxiety, when you have depression, or all these different kind of mental disorders, you cannot lean into your femininity because you are always like tensed up on the inside. Trust me, I understand because I used to deal with anxiety a whole lot. And I have moments of anxiety. I think everybody does. But when you live constantly that way, especially as a woman, our insides, our, our organs, our ovaries, our uterus, our womb, that is very delicate. It's very gentle. And we can make ourselves so much more susceptible to these different illnesses because of worry. And like I said, the number one thing, aside from men, that women tend to worry about the most is money. So if you actually take time to get creative and see what you're good at, you can create resources for yourself so that you are able to lean back and enjoy your time. Like and subscribe to this channel and share this content Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. If you watch this video until the very end, put that high hill emoji in the comment section. I absolutely appreciate you. Take care.